Right. This is a demonstration of some automation that we did for emails related to cases in a way that NetSuite didn't really allow easily. When you click the email button, and of course, that opens a generic message screen. I detect that it's being opened from the context of a case. And if so, I figure out who are all of the relevant contacts. So I go back to the sales order that's linked on here. I find all of the vendors and all of their contacts, plus all the contacts related to this customer. And I create two HTML tables showing you all of those. Let's see how this looks. So when you click, I see I came from a case record and now I see I draw this. This is the customer at hand and these are all of the contacts, uh, the email address of the contacts for the customer. Then I went and found that the order that we're dealing with here has two different vendors. And here are all of the contacts that we have on the file from those two vendors. And then what I do is I made the hyperlink of each of those be an actual bit of JavaScript. So instead of a URL that's the target, I made it a tiny bit of JavaScript. And when you click on one of these, it just adds it for you. So, the, so although you could find anyone, this makes it very convenient. You know exactly who you're dealing with related to this order and can just add them. Plus we defaulted here because we don't want to um, necessarily send it back to the customer anywhere. So we just send it back to our own dummy address in here. And the way can I accomplish this is you can see that I go out and I get my list of contacts and then I create a little table, right? And inside for every row of the table, basically the href of the anchor tag is this bit of JavaScript. I use SwitchScript 1.0 because that's available on every page. I select the new line of that recipient list. I set its value to the internal ID of the contact and I commit the line and that's it. By doing that, I'm acceptably, and you can see if you hover looking down here at the title of the, um, uh, you can see that that's exactly what's going on. It's JavaScript to select a new line, set its value to the internal ID, and then commit the line. And that's it.